Should you play a long iron in your bag or should you consider a hybrid or a higher lofted fairy wood? Well, typically I say it's always player dependent. Today we're going to discuss the differences between a long iron, hybrid, and fairy wood. Stay tuned to find out. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today I'm joined by Skylar Kistler. Skylar is a sales associate at the Second Swing Minnetonka store. Um, Skylar, you got recently got some new irons. I did. Um, you got a four iron in there. You've told me you, you hit it well when you hit it well. Yes. But sometimes you don't hit it well. So I, I just wanted to throw in the mix and say, well, let's take a look at some different high lofted fairy woods and some hybrids just to see if they notice any difference in consistency. Mm -hmm. So consistency is super important. I have no, no doubt your four iron when you hit it well, it's gonna go great. But it's those shots, just face it, we're not always gonna hit great golf shots. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted just to showcase the differences in forgiveness between these clubs. And then we'll just also discuss the height that each, each club goes and the spin rate and the distance everything is going. Because no doubt you can hit this well, but I'm gonna guess you don't hit it well every single time. I do not. Right, so you mentioned to me, you wanted, I asked you which manufacturer you wanted to test. So you said, you've, you've got, I've got a Sim 2 fairy wood. So mm -hmm. you got a three wood in your bag. So I said, well, let's grab a few different hybrids, a few different uh, high lofted fairway woods and just know, see if there's any, notice any difference between them. So for today's test, we are going to get you to hit your four, four iron. We'll take a look at those numbers. And we're also gonna get you to hit a four hybrid, a five hybrid, a five wood and a seven wood. We're okay. just gonna take a look at the numbers and see if we notice anything that is glaringly obvious or if it's a club that really looks like it's really gonna fill the gap in your bag really well. Cause I know you do have a three wood, but then you go to four iron mm -hmm. and I'm gonna guess sometimes it can be a little bit of gapping issues there yes. too. So, ready to hit some shots? Let's do it. Okay Skyla, let's see some shots with your four iron here to start with. That struck pretty well. And I know you really want to prove me wrong too, <laughs> right? <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Good shot. Hold it. A little bit of a draw on that one. All right, so five pretty clean uh, struck shots there with the uh, with your four iron. Do you feel like you hit those pretty good? I didn't feel super flush, but it did feel can, somewhat consistent. Somewhat consistent? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, your efficiency number, you had one here that was 142 and the lowest is 134. So I'd say these are you're pretty reasonably well struck for, for four iron. Um, we take a look at the averages with uh, these five shots. Uh, we'll notice the spin rate at 33.42, the carry just hovering just under 150 yards going 171. One number I'll be interested to take a look at here will be your height and your landing angle. When you were hitting the, your four iron, your height was 57 feet in the air um, with a landing angle 34.2. We'll notice the landing angle, it was consistently under 40, you had a couple here in the 39 category. Notice when that occurred, notice that your, your carry distance was, was up a little bit more. And the one you hit really well, the carry distance is 159. Um, but your stopping power is going to be important. So you notice 150 going 171, it stopped within about 21 yards. So what I'm going to be interested in take a look at is the difference between your carry and total distance and the height and the landing angle of each particular club that we hit. So no particular order. Um, let's start with, I don't even know which one this one is. This is the, the five wood. 
Let's take a look and see how this fills, fits in the, the bag to start with. That was it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Wow. That felt good. 182 going 201. Full speed number. That was hit well too. 184 going 207. Very nice. Pretty good. Mm. Nice. Just a little miss it on that one, but still, I mean, forgiving. We notice your bow speed dropped, your spin dropped, so your carry dropped. It still went 200 yards on that particular shot. Um, before we take a look at these, these numbers, I, I've got to ask you, your three wood. Mm -hmm. How well do you hit your three wood off the ground? Honestly, I hit it about the same yardage as a five wood. Okay, and that's what I was I was con I was gonna say is I I know from testing I've seen you hit your driver a few driver numbers now and yeah you know, they've been hovering 210, 220. When you know, I noticed you know, 184 going 207 with a with a five wood, I was like, wow, that is pretty good. And I was like, well, three wood I don't know if it's gonna be much better than that because of the loft difference. If I can hit a three wood well, 215, 220. Yep. is generally what I shoot for if I hit it well, but I'm, I'm more consistent with the five wood. I do know that. Okay. I don't have one, but. Uh, yeah, how many clubs do you have in your bag? I have no idea. Do, I was just curious, do you have room for an extra club? I do. You I do? I do know that. Okay, yeah, so that might be something to consider is if you want to keep the three wood in the bag, you, we might even want to consider it like a five wood and possibly a hybrid maybe to replace that four iron. But we'll, we'll mm -hmm. take a look and see how the hybrid numbers compare to your four iron here too. But yeah, you definitely notice the difference. This one was the, was the miss hit. We'll notice a little, little bit lower. Um, let's see here. Where is the one lower? This one here. So this one was significantly lower in the, in the height. If we take that one out, if we take a look at your numbers here, you're actually hitting the five wood higher than your four iron. And let's be fair to your four iron. Let's take the one uh, lowest shot out here too. We got 36. Let's take a look here now. Still, the five wood was flying a little bit higher than, you, than your four iron. And notice what happened to the, to the, to the distance essentially. Um, the spin rate was about the same, but it was just carrying a little bit further and stopping about the, the same essentially. So you're hitting the five wood pretty well. Okay, so next, I want to see five hybrid. So this will be interesting, because you're playing a four iron. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see if the five hybrid can keep up with the four iron, or even if it outperforms the four iron. There you go. That was a good swing. Nice. That was well, hit well. That was really good numbers there. Nice. Okay, so hybrid. There were a couple of misses in there. I know you mentioned you were kind of adjusting to a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the difference is between the, the hybrid and the fairy wood and why you were having a hard time. I think, well, one, because I haven't hit a hybrid in a while. It's been at least a year and a half, two years. And the hybrid I did have before um, was a ladies flex. So okay. one, it was just a little too whippy for me, as well as it was ladies length. And I need men's length clubs. Yep. So I always could never hit it well. So I think it's kind of in my head that it's going to take some time to get used to a hybrid. But I feel like I hit it pretty well. Yeah, I mean, judging on carry distance and total distance, they, what's interesting here, and even ball speed numbers, is it was outperforming your forearm. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of the message I was just trying to get across here, is 
even a five hybrid may replace a four iron. It's all about gapping. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not so much you just have to replace a four iron with a four hybrid. It's going to be on the, depending on the person how far they hit a particular club there too and what they're looking at for, for the gapping distances. But what I'm interested to take a look at here is the differences in the carry to total distance. Remember I mentioned your four iron, it was going 172 yards, mm -hmm. but it was taking about 20 yards for it to stop. Well, with the five hybrid, because it has a little bit more spin on the ball, carry 162, it only went five yards further, but it was you know, carrying almost 10 yards further. Mm -hmm. So it's coming in higher height, landing, giving you better landing power. And we take a look here at the height I talked about that magic number of 40 degrees before. Well, you're, you're above that with the hybrid. With the four iron, you're at 36.6, 73 feet in the air. Mm -hmm. So that's seed center of gravity on the, on the hybrids, designed differently than a four iron. It's designed to get the ball up in the air and to uh, give the ball a chance to stop a little bit faster and be a little bit more forgiving. Um, but yeah, I, these numbers is, I'm not surprised by these numbers. This is mm -hmm. kind of what I see all the time when it comes to a four iron versus a hybrid test. Even a four iron versus a five hybrid test, we'll notice the five hybrid still just outperformed the, uh, the four iron. Mm -hmm. Do you have any thoughts after that? Honestly, I know like when I hit my four iron flush, it feels good. But honestly, with the hybrid, I know I could have my miss hit because I even, in one of my shots, you had mentioned that would your, with your miss hit, would your four iron have done that? And I don't think it would have. I would just feel like consistency-wise, I know I could miss hit and it wouldn't be as detrimental yeah. as my forearm. Well, you, you've mentioned to me, you know, sometimes I can, I can hit my forearm 180 yards, but sometimes mm -hmm. I'll hit it 80 yards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then there was that shot when I think it went 170 yards with a, with a hybrid. And I was like, do you think, you know, it was mm -hmm. a miss hit clearly, but I was like, do you think if you had swung that same swing on the forearm, if it would have ended up there? Mm -hmm. And then probably the answer is probably, probably no. So. No. <laughs> okay, so what... I found interesting is it sounded to me like you liked fairy woods. Like you like fairy woods maybe a little bit better than the, than the hybrid. So I'm actually going to skip over the four hybrid. We don't need to see this because it's your five. The five hybrid was doing better than the four iron. So we know if we we're going to replace the four iron, the, the four iron, we'd probably go for five hi, five hybrid. I want to see the seven wood. Okay. So seven wood's interesting because it's got a little more loft on it. It's designed like you know, this is a fairy wood. And you're hitting the five wood really good. So let's see the distances and see how the, the gapping works with this. Never hit a seven wood before. It's a little right. Little right. That was nice. That felt good. That was really good there. Smoked that one. I was about to say, I didn't want to say it, but I, was, I don't think that left the center line, those last two shots. <laughs> <laughs> it feels really good. Yeah, that was really good. Pretty good. Might go just a touch right. Yep. Pretty good. Well struck shot. See one more. Uh, pretty good miss mm. hit. So you had the couple of shots there, you left the face a little bit open with the seven wood. Then you had a couple that you hit really well as well. Mm -hmm. You can see these ones here were hit really well, seven wood, clearly going shorter than the five wood. Uh, you had a couple you left the face a little bit open on it. Uh, more user error on, on that. Mm -hmm. um, let's get rid of the short one so we'll keep four up with each shot here. Okay, so let's take a look at distances. So we take a look here. Carry distance. Your four iron carried the shortest distance out of all the clubs that we that we tested. Now mm -hmm. whether that's five hybrid, whether that is uh, a seven wood, they both perform better than your four iron. So highly recommend you considering you still you can still play the five iron, but I highly recommend considering a, a higher loft of fairy wood or a hybrid of some sort to replace that. This is going to give you a better, more forgiveness and consistency on the bad shots. And you'll notice the height differences. I think we see here the lowest club flew essentially was 63 feet in the air. It was the four iron. 
five wood was basically flying the same height as what the um, four iron was doing. And that you would expect the five wood to fly lower because it's got a lot less loft on it. Five hybrid and seven wood, that landing angle was 40 degrees, which is going to give you stopping power. Um, and also carry distance. So we jump back to the numbers here. You can see seven wood <laughs> and five hybrid were going a little bit better than the four iron. So mm -hmm. My message here is not only for Skyler, but for a lot of golfers that they, they think you know, a four iron that they can hit really well. And I have no doubt that they can hit it well, but I'm just gonna say it's not gonna be every single time. And when you're playing in a competition, or if you're playing with friends and they don't give you redos, you don't get a redo. Mm -hmm. And um, the shots will add up on, on, those, on those miss hits with the bad shots with the four iron where a higher lofted fairy wood or a hybrid is going to give you just a better, better chance overall. So that's kind of my message here. Why make the game really hard on ourselves? We've gone away from having a three iron or a two iron in the bag and going to hybrids and more higher lofted fairy woods. Uh, this is what I've seen. And my longest iron in my bag is a, is a four iron and I go to a, I don't play a three iron in my bag and I generate a lot of speed and I don't even hit the four iron as well sometimes either. Mm -hmm. just takes a lot of practice, it's a lot of hard work. Um, do you have any feedback on whether you liked hybrid or fairy wood today? Um, I definitely like fairway woods a little better. Um, I know with the seven wood I hadn't hit one before, so it, took, it did take a couple swings to kind of get used to. Yep. Um, it's a shorter fairway wood, so I think that was a little bit of my, maybe my miss hits there. I, my tendency is to leave the face open, but I like fairway woods. I like the five and I like the seven a little more than I liked the hybrid. Okay. I think I'm just more confident with a fairway wood. Yeah, you, you've got options, you know, higher lofted fairway wood or, or, or hybrid depending on the player you are. Um, I will say, I know it's a small sample size, but that hybrid circle was the smallest mm -hmm. and the straightest, what we, yeah. what we noticed there. Um, and then gapping, I asked you earlier whether you have room in your bag for an extra club. Well, your five wood was, the five wood here was going 200. The five hybrid was going 177, and the seven was going 187. So there's definitely room there to figure out gapping, probably adding two extra clubs in there to help you out with regards to distance there. And you know, remove the four iron, but maybe add one extra club on top of the replacement for that four iron. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of help you out and give you better, more chances from that 170 to 190 yard shot on the golf course. So golfers, if you uh, are having a hard time with your long irons or even want to consider a fairy wood or a hybrid, come on into Second Swing, work with a club fitter like myself, come in and talk to a sales associate like Skyler, and Skyler would be able to lead you in the right direction um, to get fit with us at, uh, in our tour van. Or even if for a used club, we also have our Second Swing fittings as well for hybrids and fairy woods too. So come on into Second Swing. Get fit. Also, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.